What is up guys? My name is Thaddeus and in today's video it's gonna be it's gonna be a little short But I think the value inside is actually gonna be like super super useful for you guys Especially you guys that are kind of looking to start out or looking to like find your niche niche Whatever you want to call it and how to actually determine you know if if there's if there's money or if, if there's the like, popularity in that in that in that in that area or industry right but what this is really really useful for is trends okay finding trends catching on to trends before they like get get really really big using that to like beat other dropshippers um, to the to the market right you you want to get your site up you want to get your products out there before the mass majority of other people get their sites and stuff running but then again if you also <laughs> if, if you if you perform your marketing better you can beat anyone at the game right so again this is just determining you know the popularity of certain um, items and products so this one's actually gonna be a screen share guys that's what we're here to do and obviously let's just get right into it again guys there is always a course 25% off link in description right under me I pointed out my pants yeah that's, that's 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 dope I'm actually I'm adding more videos to the course than I am to my YouTube guys because there's just so much value in there and like, like I think of something random I'm like oh shit People gotta know, and then I plug it in there, and then I'm, I'm trying to find a way to like add value to the YouTube, and it's just it's interesting, guys. But again, there's 25% off if you guys are interested. Link is in the description. Let's on, let, honestly let's let's just get started, okay? I'm a screen share in three, two, one. Hold up, hold up. Oh man, I just gotta just gotta do like a countdown thing. Can I like screen share? All right. Uh, oh, it's recording. It's recording. Okay. All right. All right. Um, I'm gonna be tiny now. Ready? Three. Boom. Okay. Now, the first thing. You want to do right okay you're on your browser you're on your browser we're gonna go search google trends okay this is what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do, this is what we're gonna do. okay you're gonna go to google trends now you're here okay nice you got you got to a website what you want to do okay this is i'm gonna like go to like show an example for you guys okay a lot of you guys start off in the fashion industry because i mean it's instagram or like or like at least what i teach in my course right is drive traffic from instagram to your website and then scale with paid advertising okay that's that's the gist of it and what i what i, what I usually do is like like when i started off i didn't even know about google trends all right so like you guys got you guys got the jump right now and <laughs> honestly not using this is is a huge is a huge mistake okay so we're here on google trends for example a lot of you guys start in the fashion industry what i usually preach right is you go out find competitors on instagram or something that are doing well looking like they're doing well um you find out where they're advertising from their advertising outlets and from there you can you know just beat them at their own game just find a way to do it better price point marketing brand wise like something okay but with google trends right you can you you, you still do that okay don't get me wrong but you can also gauge the popularity of certain things and predict the popularity of future things, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys this. Okay? I, I, I practiced before I recorded, you know, because quality content. All right, so we're gonna search Buddha uh, brace, just, just for example, right? Because I'm sure a lot of you guys on Instagram have seen that stuff. It, it sells well if you market it well, okay? Now, this is just one product, okay? And we're seeing, you know, the interest over time. It looks fairly, you know, even, but like, again, we don't really know what that popularity is compared to other search terms, right? Until we until we compare. And if you even look down here, okay, interest by region, it's not even that popular in the US. And you want most of your orders, um, at, at, least, at least for me, because I'm based in the US, uh, most of my orders are like 80%, I'd say, come from the US. Um, but that's after I initiate, you know, the paid advertising and stuff, because I'm targeting a lot in the US. When I'm only running Instagram influencers, it's about 50-50, like 50% US, 50% like international. But like with this interest, you can like gauge kind of who's searching for what, where they're coming from, stuff like that. Now, if we add another term, okay? Now let's search, um, just a bead bracelet, right? A little bit more general term, okay? Just to like kind of see the difference, right? Now look at that, okay? That, right, there, I mean, obviously there's, 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 Tons and tons of different types of bead bracelets, which is why um, it's like this. Okay, so this is kind of how you gauge popularity, location, interest, all that kind of good stuff. But this, 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 this is the good part. Okay, this is how you find trends, right? Now, if you type in clout goggles, okay, clout goggles, right? Like I, I told this about in some other videos. Uh, I, I even predicted it in past. I was like, yo, clout goggles. I think they're like they're gonna be big soon. Now we add this to the trend list. Look at this. Look at. Okay, you guys see this? This is the making of a trend, all right? Literally, literally. So, you guys can literally see the interest, all right? Um, a few months back, no interest in clout, clout goggles, okay? None, all right? And then now, it starts to pick up in June, okay? Now, July, all year, like, it, it's, it's, it's picking up, okay? And you can see that it's passing, like, popular of all this, like... All, all these other like search terms that that people might be selling right because like if you're in the fashion industry yeah you might be selling bracelets you might be selling watches you might be selling necklaces um like jewelry all that kind of stuff right or, or even shades or even shades right and having you know or like capitalizing on these trends is really what makes drop shipping so effective if you're good at it okay because 
trends come and go, trends come and go, don't get me wrong, but if you are able to capitalize and adapt to these changes, you can literally move from trend to trend to trend without a worry. Because you know exactly what you're doing. You're just changing the product, changing the marketing of it, and just hitting, like running full steam at it, right? Instead of just continuously selling, all right, I gotta keep pumping out these bead braces, like, you know, all that kind of good stuff, right? Now, I'll show you guys fidget spinners, okay? Like, this was the biggest trend of whenever, fidget spinner. Now, look at this. That is ridiculous. Okay, that, that is... <laughs> Oh my god, so much money in that industry. Uh, well, there was, there was, okay? But see guys, this this is what a trend looks like as it passed, okay? And literally where cloud goggles, like, I, I, I'm not saying cloud goggles are going to be as big as fidget spinners. I don't think they will. Um, I don't think they'll get, like, not even that close. Maybe like 50% or something like that. But I don't think they're going to get as big. But this is what the trend looks like, right? Right after it peaks and it dips down and then there's no more money, right? But this is this is, this is is what I'm talking about, trend hopping. If you were in the fidget spinner industry and money starts to die, you're looking for the next trend, right? you got to be, like, on the lookout for this stuff. So if we remove the fidget spinner term, okay? Now, this is compared to, like, more, like, practical products, you could say. You know, bracelets. Um, stuff like that, okay? And like this is what I'm saying is the making of a trend like the beginning like like the very very cusp of The trend like before it kind of like blows the hell up obviously things can happen and like it can just die off like that and just lose all its steam but that, that's the risk with like, like that's the risk with like trend hopping and like kind of pr trying to predict what's gonna sell, right? Um, but then again, it's drop shipping. There's no huge overhead. There's no money up front. You're not like bulk ordering products and then hoping it becomes a trend to sell them to other people, right? It's drop shipping, okay? You don't even have to touch the product. You're just waiting to see, okay, is that trend hopping? Awesome. I'm gonna market the shit out of it, right? That, that's that's literally what you're doing, okay? So that's really what I wanna show you guys. Just Google trends. Literally, um, I didn't know about this. Buddy pointed this out to me a few weeks ago. And I've been looking at it, tweaking, uh, tweaking around. <laughs> Maybe I've used it a bit on some of my own sites. Just saying, just saying, guys. Like you should be using this tool, okay? And that's why I wanted to show you guys, like provide some insight, um, in case you guys really had no idea um, what to do with that, right? So that's Google Trends. Um, that's kind of how you can like kind of see, like, all right. This, this looks like it might be climbing in popularity. There's gonna be a bigger market for this. If I get my set, if I get my products up before everyone else, you obviously have a, a much larger opportunity to make money, right? So that's the thing with drop shipping, trend hopping, all that kind of good stuff. Um, that's the video, I didn't even tell you, it's, the video's not gonna be too, too long, um, but I hope this provides value to you. I'm sure one of you guys is gonna see this, um, gonna capitalize on some sort of trend down the road and be like, fuck, I just made a shit ton of money, right? So. That's what you do. That's oh, voice crack. That's what you guys want to do. If you aren't in the course yet, <laughs> you guys, I always got so many plugs, bro. I always got okay. There's 25% off. Link in the description. Course is closing soon. But guys, if you really are looking to trend hop and like be like like stand out from all these other drop shipping sites, like I I hate like 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 selling stuff um, to you guys because I'm trying to provide value, but. In the course, I literally told you guys, like, like you're not just making a, a like a regular dropshipping site, right? I want to show you guys the small things, all the sm all the smallest kind of shit that you can change to make your site, you know, above and beyond um, other sites. And this doesn't include. This is not even just about the site. This is the market. This is the presentation, right? Because I mean, you've heard it, it's all about presentation, how you present yourself, like like first impressions. Okay, even when you meet someone, your first impression makes the difference. If a customer, like their first impression of you, your brand is that's gonna determine whether or not they click through to your site, click through on your ad purchase your product that kind of stuff right so making your Instagram feed look like gorgeous is like I mean that that's what I think I did really really well like perfect like, just perfecting and like like trying to make a quality brand even though I'm drop shipping okay like does that does that kind of make sense so like like how do I edit my Instagram photo like all that kind of stuff is in the course so it's like I f like I feel I, at least I feel that all these other courses don't really talk on that they're like all right I'll make a site add some products buy some ads make money right but like there's so much more that goes into that stuff and I don't know at least I feel like that I'm touching on some of the smaller things that like no one really talks about you know like like how to use Lightroom to edit photos for your Instagram cat like if you really want to spend the time and the quality and go through with that like that's how you make a really quality feed that's how you get like really like that's how you get like my Instagram guys for my for my very first site I so, said, like, some of you guys know, know, like, know my first site because you're good at snooping and you found it. But that one, like, that got 30,000 followers in one month, guys. Because, the, like, the feed was quality. Um, the, the, like, the content was quality. Like, the way we presented our brand was just quality. Like, it looked good, okay? And that, that's what I'm trying to stress to you guys because a lot of the times um, people just throw up a site, throw up some random pictures. They don't pay too much. They just expect to post and get something back, right? Um, it's not always about, like, like you got you to gotta learn to give, give, give before you ask um, 
If that if that kind of makes sense. You know Gary V. Gary V always preaches that. I love that. Okay, so that was the video, guys. Again, the course is 25% off. Link is in the description as well as links for like literally everything else I've made. Um, Shopify trials, the apps I use, all the PDFs and shit. Go and get them if you want. I mean, why wouldn't you? You're already watching the video and you're taking action, yo. Like you guys deserve to win. Okay, that's the video. If you don't know anything about the course, there's a link up here, up up here about the course that you can watch. Um, a few testimonials, stuff like that. Actually, and uh, interviewing a few of the kids that how actually hopped in the course. I have one guy that did 8K in two weeks, his first two weeks of launch. I got him on the line. I'm gonna hop on a call with him soon. Um, a few other people actually that have even bigger results. But that 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 video for another video for another day. Right? We're talking about Google Trends, how you guys can capitalize on trend, like trend top and all that good shit. So that's the video, guys. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I respond to everyone's comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Peace.